I made a video a few months ago where I used generative fill on a couple of websites to fill in URC images. Photoshop has just added its own, so let's see what it can create with URC images. So we've got Photoshop open, we've got a bunch of photos I've taken in game uh, on the right, so I suppose let's just get right into this. First of all, we're going to do a police chase. I've done this before. We're going to generative fill and we're going to have a American police SUV in pursuit. I think we'll just start off with something like that and see what it generates. Okay, not exactly. We've got three options. Yeah, not exactly what I was looking for. Okay, I think it got a bit confused with the pursuit part. Okay, that's better. That's that's pretty good. We've got six options as well. Yeah, I mean, we're getting there, I suppose. This is just the same as last one. Oh, we can upload a reference image. Right, so we've got a reference image. I just got this off the PLC Twitter. I suppose that's a good angle and stuff. Oh, no. Okay, I've made this so much worse, haven't I? All right. That's actually not bad. It's just going the wrong direction. And this, I don't know. It kind of looks like a Bronco as well. But um, yeah, that's horrific. Okay. So the next one we'll be trying is this. And I wanted to put a broken or damaged car on the back of a DOT truck. So if we just select this area on top of the truck there, and that should be large enough to put any vehicle on it. Let's just go with damaged sports car for the moment and uh, see what Photoshop comes back with. That's not too bad. Next one. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, it fits onto it relatively well. I don't know what happened to the side of the door on this one. It looks like someone ripped the paint off. I'm just going to create a bigger generative area for Photoshop to do its thing. All right, it definitely used all the area I gave it. Not too bad, to be honest. Um, what are other options? Okay, I, I don't know what happened here. And yeah, all right, I think this first one's probably probably our best. That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this one. So next up, I thought it would be interesting if we could generate some uh, URC suggestions. I did a video yesterday asking for what people would like to see this summer. And so I thought it would be cool, well, if we could generate some of those ideas, I suppose, in Photoshop. That is very interesting. If I take this away, you can see they've actually added an old building or an old shack on the side. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Uh, all right, this boat is way too big. Um, yeah, probably the first one. I, I'm interested with the shack as well. That's kind of cool. Maybe let's change this up a bit. I'm thinking we'll do an inflatable, inflatable raft or inflatable boat. I like the idea. I see what Photoshop was going for, but this isn't exactly what I was asking for. This looks more like a tail than water splashing from the engine. It's supposed to be back here. Uh, other options. Okay, this, this I can actually see. What this is, I do not know, but I like it. I do like it. And this one, honestly, this is really good. I just wish it was a bit smaller, but it's got the rippling effect. It's got the water splashing behind. Yeah, that's that's cool. On to the next one. I thought it would be cool if we had an ATV driving up the hill. So we're just going to circle a, a big area for it to create an ATV in. Again, we have gone ambitious. I've asked it to add a, a Roblox figure riding the ATV in dirt, spewing from behind in clouds like there is in game. All right, ATV, pretty good. This, I don't know what it's going for. We also added some other ATVs down there. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, a bit too, bit too cartoony. And this one, yeah, ATV is a bit too big. Not exactly looking like a Roblox figure here, but the ATV itself isn't bad. This one, bit too much smoke. It just looks like you blurred the entire background. But it's kind of cool. It looks like you, they're on a jump or something. I gotta say, this one's probably the best. Like, that is the most realistic looking, I suppose. They've got this other thing down here. It just looks like a very square, very flat ATV. For this next one, we are scaling it up. I want Photoshop to remove this entire building and replace it with a sheriff's station outpost. Or maybe even we could do like a, a ranger outpost or a, uh, a state trooper. State trooper outpost. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, we'll just go state trooper outpost building and let's generate that. Pretty big area. It's got a car park out front. Yeah, I hope it keeps the car park actually because that works well. Okay, interesting. Oh, this one. This one's actually good. Okay. I like, I like this one. I don't know what's done to the buildings behind it. 
The jewelry store has been completely obliterated, but out front here, I like. And this one. Okay, the vehicle kind of ruins it. If the vehicle wasn't there and whatever this is here on the left, that's pretty good. Reworded again, so let's see what it comes up with. Okay, Photoshop put no detail into this whatsoever. There we go, we actually got somewhere. These first two, uh, like there's no detail, there's no textures on the walls even. This one though, yeah, I mean, that's a bit better. We all know how bad AI is at generating text in photos. So I thought it would be funny, let's give this a try and replace this with OMB Street. So that should work and generative fill. Oh no, we encountered an issue with your prompt. Review our guidelines. Did I do something that breaks their guidelines? Not exactly what I asked it to do. As you can see, it just replaced with, uh, yeah, Remorit, Remorit Street. Well, not exactly what I was looking for, but I don't want to get banned from Photoshop. So let's move on to the next one. Let's try and make this hospital nice and busy. So we're just going to circle or uh, surround this entire area. Okay, this looks like a children's book. Not what I was looking for. Okay, again, they replaced all the front desks with doors. I'll give you credit for that, but what happened to these people's faces? Their face is just a mouth. That is creepy. Moving on. It is April and we have an ice skating rink in Liberty County. I think Photoshop will do a pretty good job of this. So we're just going to circle all of it with the lanterns. Because uh, we want to get rid of those lights around it as well. And let's just circle this all. Bring it back around. And there we go. Okay. This is City Park, right? Or it's like a, a meetup place, I suppose, for people. So I'm thinking we put a waterfall. or Not a, not a waterfall. A water fountain. That's a bigger fountain than I wished <laughs> it would put in. This is better. Okay, nice job. This is actually quite nice. I like the design of this. It's got some planting around the outside. It tried to make some benches over here. It didn't really work out, but I this one I like, actually. I think this one fits quite nicely. And to end this off, I thought I would use this image. It's me standing on top of the High Rock Park viewing platform, looking over what would be the city. But because of Roblox's rendering distance, there is no city. So that is what we're going to do here today. We're going to try and add in a city. Not what I thought it would put for a city. It just put some floating text. What happened, Photoshop? I mean, this one's okay. They put like a ranch in some forest, but... Where's, where's the city? There we go, a step in the right direction. I suppose this one's probably the best. It looks more like a rural, a small rural American town in the hillsides. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. There are definitely people who know how to use AI much better than I do, know how to use different prompts and can probably generate much better images, but it was definitely fun to check this out. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and drop a comment below. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one.